G'day folks, it's 42, back for another hangar tour, the last of the four, this is the Revel and York hangar, the top of the line, the creme de la creme, uh, this hangar is really posh, I mean this is, it, it is, if Apple Store was in Star Citizen, I'm sure there'd be a kiosk over here that calling themselves the Genius Bar, and you might even find Steve Jobs fapping in the corner. Uh, this place is beautiful. Big uh, information screens up here, which currently aren't really showing anything of any relevance, uh, but they are still pretty cool to look, like, look at. Um, nice curved lines, smooth uh, um, lines and features. This, this wood paneling is really nice. It just kind of makes everything feel like that, um, you know, even that very modern uh, millionaire's yacht kind of look to it. Um, nice uh wood decorated they even got some plants over here there you go think of a few things to to grow in there some kind of weird space plant something i'm sure um you know it, it's odd but one of the things that i do actually like about this hangar is that the elevator is back here in the corner um the aero view hangar with the elevator about halfway up the wall there i don't know to me that just doesn't really make a lot of sense the office is is right here over the top so why would you run halfway up the hangar uh to get to the elevator but anyway that's not this hangar that's a different hangar uh, that is the arrow view there. This one is the Rebel in York. Um, these side areas here, this one here and just opposite there, I'm pretty sure those open up and you get a whole another section of, um, of hangar off to the side. Of course, if your fleet is big enough to handle that. Uh, at this point, you'll notice there's actually three levels in this one where the others have, uh, have kind of two levels. Um, this is the only one that has three. So we've got the ground level here where your your ship and hangar actually is. The office level uh, or, you know, kind of walkway level that pretty much they all have. And then this one has got this upper top deck here. Um, what I want to do is just put a ship down just so that we've got something to look at. Uh, why not? We'll put a Reliant core here. Oh, I kind of like the Reliance, you know. I'm looking forward to the Reliant Sen uh, remodel. That's um, that's I think one of the one of the ships that I would have a real interest in uh, when we get to actual launch time. Let's see, I might be able to come out front here just to fill up this kind of runway area a bit um, with something to look at, you know. Uh, size 3, I don't have, uh, we could put another Reliant there, but that's not a lot of fun, is it? How about this? Here we go. And, of course, we'll put my personal favorite down, the Cutlass Red. It's a nice and clean and spiffy looking ship. It's not like the black, you know, quite piratey looking already. Um, this is really nice and clean as a as a rescue vessel should be. So I think it looks looks good in this hangar at the moment. Anyway, we've now got something to uh, to look at down on the deck. So let's run up to the office and have a look at what a really posh office design looks like. Where is it that you want to bring your clients to? So nice wood floor again here in the lift glass walls so we can see everything as we go up to the next level. A little bit of greenery here again to, to make it nice and homey and a bit more fresh, a bit more clean. Um, love this, this little seating area in here uh, and over on the other side. This is slick. This is a really slick layout and design. Um, beautiful little console here with um, irrelevant data and actually if you look close enough it's quite funny there is literally the lorem ipsum placeholder in the data sections on the screen there uh oh just noticed this myself over on the left side you can see the uh open cancel and close is all upside down so the whole control panel on the left there is uh inverted vertically a uh, nice view down onto the deck uh, get a good look at your ships from here. Don't quite have that glass cut out that you have in the aero view, but you still get uh, quite a good um, quite a good view across the whole um, uh, across the whole deck area or hangar area. Love these seating areas, although it doesn't really leave a lot for 
um, hanger flare placement around. You're kind of limited on your options of where you can put your hanger flare because there's already some nice decorations. Little uh, planter boxes here and, and these uh, lounges. Although I don't think they're functional in any way. You can't sit in them. No, no. Uh, these doors do not as of yet open. What I'd like to see... I have no idea if this is in the works, but what I'd like to see is a way to kind of come over to a panel here. You know, you're in your office in your hangar. You come over to this panel because they've all got this door here. Uh, and you come over here and bing, you can hit that. And maybe you can see people who are in your organization uh, or your contacts list and be able to move to other people's hangars by walking through this door. I think that would be pretty cool. What do you think? And what are the actual plans, if anybody has any idea? What's the purpose of those doors back there? Does anybody know? These are the mysteries that shall someday be revealed. But not today. So there is, all the way up at the front here, like I said, this is the only uh, hangar that's got a third level on it. So we're going to go up to that third level. And the way to do that is all the way up the front here by the big doors. Look at that door. Look at the reflection in that door. It's beautiful. And I don't even have the graphics cranked up anywhere near. Like, I, I got an old graphics card. And still, this game is gorgeous. Someday soon, I'll upgrade my video. But again, not today. So we take the lift all the way up to this very top level up here. And we've got this fan fantastic seating area. A couple of conference tables uh, in the back here for your uh, contract and meeting discussions. Um, some funky pieces of art and a, and a lamp, because you know, everybody loves lamp. Gotta have a lamp. Um, some seating areas, all you need really is a, is a you know, a, a bar up here serving drinks. That'd be fantastic. And look at this view down over the top of the, the flight deck even see everybody know that would be over in the office over there. If you come around on these side wings, there's a matching one over on the other side over there. There's this clear floor area. Look at this. Gorgeous. You can stand out here, you know, champagne in hand, uh, nibbling on some some snacks that your, uh, your salesperson has brought you while you're uh, looking down over the top of the ships that you might want to buy next. Or, uh, or negotiating a contract with your uh, cargo hauler, or perhaps your, your luxury cruising vessel, whichever that may be. And the detail in this is just, just beautiful. Top of the line hangar, obviously this one, the, the Revel and York. And that pretty much wraps it up for all of the four hangar tours. Um, so from here, I don't know, I'm going to start looking at some ships. Look at, definitely look at some of the options of what's in Star Citizen. What's currently available? Persistent Universe, Arena Commander, and, and uh, Star Marine. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the hangars and which of these four happens to be your favorite. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Peace out.